everyone as promised today i'm going to show you how to make your anakani this is the design that i wish to achieve by the end now to make this design you could use your um leftovers um fabrics or you could use um an old afghani that's sitting in your cupboard and you haven't used it so cut out the pattern or the embroidery out of it and put it to use now for this you will need some fabric so this was left over from a curtain and i would need some yellow satin some laces and your um, measuring tape, scissor, and thread, and a pen. So let's get creative. Like any traditional Afghani, you would need to learn how to make three parts to the dress. In step number one, I'm gonna show you how to make the skirt. Step number two, I'm gonna show you how to make the blouse. And step number three, how to make the sleeves. And that will make your Afghani. You're a seven year old, and therefore I'm going with a three meter wide skirt and 50 centimeters in length. So 50 centimeters in length. Um, that's 50 right here so I'll make a mark here and I will cut this across so that's my 50 there so I've cut out the length of the skirt so that's the length of the skirt now it's a bit simple I'd like to get a bit more creative and add design to it so I'm taking 10 centimeters of satin strip and I'm going to stitch it on inwards onto the skirt so I'll show you how so you need to take in about one centimetre. Let's get started. Yellow satin on the edge of the skirt as a border. And now I'm going to add some lace and stitch this on. I'll show you how. onto the skirt and now the skirt is complete now we're going to focus on to the sleeves the sleeve follow a similar pattern um, what we are going to do is take 35 centimeters length and 60 centimeters width across so that's 60 centimeters so when we fold it in half that's 30 centimeters width that's the width so that's 30 centimeters and 35 centimeters so the sleeves have been cut out these are both of the sleeves um, now on the edge of the sleeve I'm going to do exactly what I did for the skirt so I'm going to put lace and then stitch the yellow satin on we have now completed the sleeves um, the borders are done and the yellow trim is on there as well now I'm going to put the cutouts from the uh, kameez that I had and you could either glue it with a fabric glue on there or you could stitch the edges around with a needle and thread so I'm going to design this so all of, I've only got eight so I'm going to put four on each so I finished the sleeves I've um, put the I've, I've stitched the patches on there okay great we're now going to focus on the blouse okay so this is the blouse so that's the back that's the front folded in two and that's going to be 30 centimeters so the length is 30 centimeters so that's 30 centimeters 30, I've taken 32 two centimeters per stitch so that's folded so if I unfold it that's 64 okay and across I'm going to take 40 so 40 is right here so this is the width of my blouse at waist and I am taking it up to 40 centimeters I'm going to cut this across so I'm going to separate the cut the two pieces the back and the front I'm going to take the front fold it in half and I'm going to cut the neckline, okay? I like to go with the traditional round neck, so that's it. That's it. You do not need anything fancy, just fold it inwards, okay? I'm going to do the same with the back, um, but I'm not going to take a bigger um, circle, so I'm going to take a very small. Same for the other 
shoulder. So stitch the shoulder. Shoulders both stitched. Now what I'm going to do is turn it this way around and I'm going to fold the neckline in. Okay, so like so. That's the blouse and that's the sleeve, align the sleeve with the blouse, leaving about two centimeters on each side. Okay. Attached to the blouse, what I'm going to do is um, do the gathering on the skirt. So I will do the gathering and I'll show you. So this is the front of the blouse, okay? And this is the edge of the skirt, so what I'm going to do is put it here. So if I unfold it, this is going to be the skirt, okay? So now what I'm going to do is make some pleats. All around the blouse, I'm going to make pleats. Gathering at the back and the front, and if I show you from here, so that's the front. Here you go. That's the gathering. Now all I need to do is just stitch the side. So with it starting with the sleeve. Okay. So attach the side. Okay. That's the blouse area, and that's the skirt. So just align these two here. So what I'm going to do is just stitch it on like so. That's it. Done. From my kameez, there was a bit of lace left over, embroidered um, piece. And what I did was just attach um, zari on the end of each side and you could use this as a belt. So if you put it on your afghani, you could adjust the size of how tight you want your afghani. So you could just tie it at the back. So this is your final Afghani. I hope you liked it. Please stay tuned and watch my second video as I'm going to take you through how to make the trousers with your Afghani clothes. Uh, do not forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs button if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching.